this week. Dolphins, Bills, seven-point favorites are the Buffalo Bills at home, 43 over under, a little lower than maybe I thought it would be. Saturday night prime time under the lights with the snow possibly falling. The Dolphins trying to reverse a two-game losing streak. Chris, who do you have? Yeah, this is. Uh, I can't wait for this game. I mean, it's, it's this is one of the games of the weekend. Of course, we know they're two of the better teams in the AFC. Bills in you know in, in control of their destiny as far as home field advantage. They lost to the Dolphins earlier this year. The Dolphins, like you said, on a losing streak here, where the offense has sputtered, and mainly it's because of Tua. So, and now he's got to go up to Buffalo and play a good defense and play in elements that we all questioned whether he can do it. You know, and so far in his NFL career, when he's played in elements like this, it's been bad. Like, not, not just okay, it's been bad. So, I, I, I'm expecting that again. I'm not expecting maybe as bad as we've seen, but I, I, can't, I can't sit here with a, a good conscience and football IQ and go, I'm, I, I feel good about the Dolphins. I mean, this is a team that had heaters on the sidelines last week when it was 54 degrees in L.A., all right? Yeah, it's going to be 20 degrees, and who knows what it is going to be with wind chill. And, Mike, did I hear this right, that the Bills aren't going to put heaters on their sidelines, therefore the Dolphins can't put any on their sideline? Is that a real thing? Am I off base on that? Uh, I don't know. Okay, but either I, way, I getting back to the X's and O's of it is – I do think we've saw a team last week with the Chargers who laid a little bit of more of a, a, a framework of how to stop the RPOs and all that, all the easy throws that McDaniel delivers for Tua. And the Bills did a pretty good job of that already the first time they played them. So, and the Bills are healthy. The first time they played, remember, that was a game where, what did we say? It was 11 out of the 22 starters, maybe more than that, were missing for the Bills in that game, and a number of their key defensive players. Uh, so I, I like the Bills in this one. And then I do think the Dolphins' defense, which is good and talented, this is just not the right matchup for them. Being over-aggressive against this guy at quarterback is not the right thing. And I don't know if they're good enough in zone coverages and all that to stop them either. So I'm going Bills 28-17, Mike. I got 34-21. And look, I see this as an opportunity for the Bills to rectify one of the glaring black marks on their resume for 2022 when yeah. they went down to Miami and they should have won that game, could have won that game. And they had to deal with the heat and the sun and the way that the stadium's configured and it all lined up against them. And they still were the better team that day. Remember the yardage differential was yeah. obscene. Time of possession. In that game. Right. Yeah. Everything, everything. Right. They messed you up. You look at the protection. stats and you would assume right. the bills blew them out. And right. I think the bills are good enough at home and there are questions about that Miami offense based upon recent weeks. The first time it was an aberration from Tua. The second time you pay attention, and now the Bills have a chance. And the way that they knocked around Mike White on Sunday, are you kidding me? They are going to be coming after Tua with everything they have. They broke his ribs last year. Yeah. Remember that? Right. They broke to his ribs. They yep. weren't broken, then they were broken. So uh, it's going to be a long day or night, as the case may be, for the Miami Dolphins. 34-21, and the Bills – Feeling that opportunity to seize the brass ring of the one seed and forcing everybody to come to Buffalo in the postseason. That's how you get to the Super Bowl if you are a Buffalo Bills team that is good enough to otherwise qualify for that game. Thanks for watching, homies. Hit subscribe to see all my unbuttoned videos. You get to see me, Ahmed Fareed, all the big player breakdowns, game breakdowns, player interviews, and my film analysis. So please subscribe. Chris Sims, Unbuttoned. Peace out.